more, it's more the, the bragging rights than the... <laughs> <laughs> My name is John Riley. I'll have your ear only a while. I left my dear home in Ireland, it was death, starvation, or exile. When I got to America, it was my duty to go. Enter the army and slog across Texas to join in the war against Mexico. And it was there in the pueblos and hillsides that I saw the mistake I had made. Part of the conquering army with the morals of a bayonet blade. And there amidst all these poor dying Catholics, screaming children, the burning stench of it all, myself and 200 Irishmen decided to rise to the call. From Dublin City to San Diego, we witnessed freedom denied. So we formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side. We formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side. We marched neath the green flag of St. Patrick, emblazoned with Erin Gobra. Right with the harp and the shamrock, and the Vertad Padre Publica. Just fifty years after Wolf Tone, five thousand miles away, the Yanks called us a legion of strangers, and they will talk as they may. But from Dublin City to San Diego, we witnessed freedom denied. So we Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side. We formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side. We fought them in five major battles. Churubusco was the last. Overwhelmed by the cannons from Boston, we fell after each mortar blast. Most of us died on that hillside in the service of the Mexican state. So far from our occupied homeland, we were heroes and victims of fate. From Dublin City to San Diego, we witnessed freedom denied. So we formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side. From Dublin City to San Diego, we witnessed freedom denied. So we formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side. We formed the St. Patrick Battalion, and we fought on the Mexican side.